Why does a narcissist want to stay your friend after they've discarded you? After they discarded you, why would they want to remain in your life? My name is Lise Colucci, and I'm going to answer that question because I am here to help you understand and transform your life after being with toxic narcissistic people. All right, you guys, basically it's about supply. The narcissistic person wants to remain your friend because they want to have access. They want a little bit of access to your life after they've left you so that they can come into your life again as needed when they are short on supply. They also love the attention that you've given them in the relationship, no matter what they've said to you about how you are and who you are, okay? No matter what the reason for the discard, they love the type of attention that you personally have given them. They don't want to throw that away. They want to have new supply sometimes because it's fun and exciting to have someone that has absolutely no clue that you're toxic right? Like how fun would that be to start over with someone that doesn't see the toxic ways that you treat people? So they want that kind of supply going on with the new person, but they want to make sure that they can have access back to you to get whatever it is that you gave them in the relationship. And there really is the simple answer. It is all about supply, but we got more to say about that. And let me know in the comments as well, if you have other reasons you think a narcissist kept you in their life. When a narcissist has a bruised ego or a damaged ego, especially if you're the one that discarded them or if you didn't fight for the relationship after they discarded you, you just sort of let them discard you, it sort of leaves them a little bit unsettled, right? They want the back and forth. They want the dynamic. They want to know that they're so important that you're going to go crazy without them, okay? And when you don't, they need to push you through these hoovers, which is what this is, staying friends, right? And keep you miserable, keep you wanting them, keep you needing them, keep you trauma bonded to them so that they have that attention so that they can resolve the fact that their ego was a little damaged and not let you be happy. They just can't. Your happiness is something for them to destroy. It always has been. There's no difference now. This is all about controlling you. It's to keep control. If they can control you and they can control the situation, they can have it all. Is this all making sense? If so, hit the thumbs up. Okay, so here's something. When you have been married to a narcissist or you've been in a long-term relationship with a narcissist, if a narcissist is your parent, you have played a pretty dynamic role in their life. You are now in a role, right? Like they put you in the role that their narrative created in the relationship, and that's the role that you played in their life. Without you in that role, what are they supposed to do? They need you to be in that role. So sometimes what'll happen, here's an example. A narcissistic person, say they're getting divorced. They During the divorce process, people like you out there, right, that I talk to will tell me things like the narcissist is asking all these questions. They can't find the paperwork. They can't do this. They can't do that. The, the scheduling's all off. They, you know, basically what they're doing is they're turning their ex, you, into their secretary. And they're using you the exact same way they did in the marriage to take care of all the things they don't want to take care of, to be the responsible one, to do their work for them. All right. And it takes a while sometimes to teach people that they don't have to do that anymore. They are no longer part of that narcissistic person's life. And that narcissistic person can go find their own paperwork, make their own phone calls, schedule their own appointments, and they do not get you anymore to do it for them. They may just simply be game playing to further hurt you. Some narcissistic people are so sadistic, they enjoy watching you squirm. They enjoy the game of cat and mouse and they love to know that you're hurting because of something that they did. One reason that they do this that is so toxic is to maintain the top, to be in power, okay? They're doing this to keep you wanting them so that they can show the world how you can't let them go. So there are a lot of videos on this channel about why narcissists do what they do and how they behave. Go check out the playlist on this channel or lots of other videos to help you understand what's going on. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.